Hi and welcome to Troubleshoot This. My name is Chris and in this episode we are installing Windows 10 from start to finish. Let's get started. Step 1 in the process is to create a bootable Windows install media. This is a USB drive that we will use to install a fresh copy of Windows onto your system that is having issues with booting, crashing, freezing and sometimes blue screen errors. Um, if your current system is not functioning properly, you can still do this process on another PC that is booted up and connected to the internet. Here's how to create it. Start by opening up a browser and just type in Windows Media Creation Tool. It's usually the first thing that pops up. And what we want to click on is uh, this one, Create Installation Media and then Windows 10 select this one here now it will uh, come up with this page here um, you don't want to click update now because we want to create a new drive that we will use so let's click download tool now once it's downloaded here click on it run the application here okay you are going to be greeted with this screen here so uh, it's going to ask you to um, basically read I don't know if anybody ever reads this uh, license agreement I know I don't so just click up accept on this one and uh, there's going to be a couple more things that it'll do uh, make sure you also have a 16 or 8 gigabyte flash drive already inserted into the system because that will be uh, formatted and the whole uh, process will be transferred onto that. So we can create installation media right here. Hit next. Um, if this is checked, I would uh, I would usually uncheck that. Depending on what um, OS you're trying to install, I mean, nobody installs 32-bit anymore because of current hardware um, uh, upgrades that we've received towards the uh, towards the years. Um, it's always 64-bit, so we'll choose that one, or just check that one. You should be fine. And then hit next. Uh, we want to select USB flash drive, at least eight gigabytes right here. Hit next again. It should see your um, flash drive right here it says uh, ESD that is the basically the code for my flash drive so we'll just hit next on that one and it will download Windows 10 and then complete the process of uh, creating that flash drive into a bootable media that we are going to use later so um, stick around we'll wait for this to end and uh, we'll proceed after this is done once you get to this screen, it means your flash drive is ready for use. All we have to do now is click on finish. Let the cleanup happen and we are ready for the next step, which is installing Windows. All right, in this next step, we are actually installing Windows onto your computer. So make sure that the flash drive you created is plugged into a USB on your system and um, power the system up. Now while this happens, keep your finger on the F11 key of your keyboard because we will need to boot from that drive. Once you see the manufacturer logo of your motherboard, in this case ASRock, start tapping on the F11 key and that should bring up the boot menu. There we go. Which will allow us to boot from the USB drive. Um, can be UEFI, try that one first. If it does not work, choose USB. So we'll go with, uh, with, we'll go with the USB on this one. There we go, Windows is starting to load. And there is the first screen that we will see when we are installing Windows. Set your language to install to English if you are in the US. Time and currency, you can select this to wherever you are. 
and of course keyboard and input method is US. Hit next once you're done with that screen and click install now. Okay, um, for this activation screen if you are re reinstalling Windows on your system um, the product key is usually embedded on your motherboard so there's no need to do this right now um, we'll take care of that later uh, let's just click on I don't have a product key and select Windows 10 home because that's the standard uh, operating system installed in most of the systems it will be x64 hit next once again if you wanna take your time and read the end user license agreement feel free to do so and if you feel like you want to accept it just check on that box and hit next okay this is where uh, some people kind of make the mistake of doing the upgrade versus the custom what we want to do is click on custom because we will be deleting all these um, partitions in the current hard drive so if it is corrupted if it ha if it is having blue screens we want to get rid of that previous installation so we'll click on drive zero partition one click delete down here hit OK it now becomes an allocated space do the same for the rest of the partitions until you end up with one space uh, one option with the space that your um, current solid state drive or hard drive capacity is on this on this size here hit next and uh, Windows will proceed to install now this uh, this should take anywhere from like five or ten minutes so we'll come back once it's done all right once we get to the stage Windows will automatically restart or you can click restart now to make the process a lot faster okay what we're seeing right now is the first boot up of the fresh installation of Windows 10 so there's going to be options here that we will need to check or uncheck depending on uh, your system installation so stick around and we'll go through it one by one hello <laughs> okay we are now in the initial setup of Windows like the screen says just a moment and we'll get started on this all right um, it usually starts you off with the region and it selects it automatically for you uh, you, you can change it to wherever you want just make sure you understand the language and region of uh, the country selected but other than that press yes and keyboard layout will be US for an additional keyboard layout just hit skip on that one um, this is also another turning point in the installation if you do connect to your uh, network it will ask you for a lot of uh, credentials like a Microsoft account so click I don't have internet for now and continue with limited setup on this page you can always connect the uh, the Wi-Fi connection or your LAN cable later on just to make this process a lot faster name your computer uh, we'll name this reinstall test and then click next if you do create a password here you're gonna uh, have to enter that each time you log into your computer otherwise just hit next so it boots directly to the desktop this is another page where most people hit accept we want to um, basically disable all these options and then hit accept Cortana this is basically Windows is um, kind of Siri or Alexa thing <laughs> we don't need that right now so just click not now and basically you're done with the installation options all you have to do is let this roll and um, yeah once you get to the desktop we will proceed to step three which is installing the primary drivers and making sure all the devices are properly working and basically removing any unwanted the software that may slow your system down so stay tuned okay now that we are on the desktop uh, one thing I am going to do right now is plug in my network connection so we can download our drivers okay 
All right, for this screen right here, just click on maybe later. And once you get your uh, network connected, just hit yes on this one if you're on your home network. Uh, you're going to see um, some messages pop up like uh, setting up your keyboard or setting up your mouse or any other peripherals that you may have connected to your computer. Uh, the reason why is once you connected um, your computer to the internet, Windows will automatically try to update your drivers. So if you see here, our our resolution is kind of it's kind of big. Let me see if I can refocus. Yeah, our resolution is kind of kind of too blocky here. But if you wait a while, Windows will automatically try to install a graphics driver that will make everything look nice. Although it's not going to be the latest one for your graphics card. So we will have to download the latest one for that. Okay, USB keyboard is ready to go. Okay, one thing we want to do is right click on the Windows uh, Start key right here and select Device Manager. See, this will. This will let it let let us see what um, basically what devices are not installed properly. Like for this one, there's a PCI device that has a yellow exclamation point on it, uh, which means we have to find a driver for that, or even identify which one that is. So let's open up an internet browser. Confirm that. I usually use Edge to download Chrome, but we'll use Edge on this one for now. Uh, first thing I always do with a system is to install the graphics driver. So with this one we are using uh, the NVIDIA GeForce card. So we're gonna go with NVIDIA drivers. Never mind, Windows beat us to it. This is what I was saying earlier. See now everything looks nicer. That's because Windows uh, already installed the, the driver for the uh, graphics card. And uh, amazingly, it also installed the the driver for that little hardware that we have here with an exclamation point, which is the NVIDIA Type-C port. So NVIDIA Control Panel just got installed. Let's uh, right-click on the desktop, check the Control Panel out. And here we go. So we have a 1660 Super. Um, this is one thing to pay attention to. The version of the driver is 456.71. So if we look up NVIDIA drivers, uh, download drivers here, GeForce, GTX 16, 1660 Super, 1660 Super. There we go. Hit search, and you can see the version here, the one that's installed by Windows, is a lot older than the latest one here on the website. So the uh, once installed is 45671, the newest one is 465.89, so that is quite the gap. We want to download that, hit download, and once the file is ready, we are going to Actually, you can just click on that so it launches when the download finishes. Minimize our internet browser. Hit yes on that window. And proceed with the installation. What happens here is by installing the latest graphics driver, um, it has more optimizations and compatibility with applications, games, settings. It basically just gives you what, um, basically what the manufacturers have uh, modified in their drivers to be more uh, efficient with your card uh, power wise or graphics wise so it's always it's always a good option to to update the graphics card first one thing I also want to check and show you guys would be um, privacy was it under settings uh, update and security and activation you can see here that Windows is already activated because, like I said earlier, the product key is already embedded on your uh, on your motherboard. So once Windows connects to the internet, 
it'll try and uh, activate itself using the information that is stored in there so that's one thing you don't have to worry about um, I would recommend doing the graphics driver and GeForce experience for this so you can have the option to record your games or clip your uh, moments but for this we would just do the graphics driver once you choose your option on that hit custom hit next and check perform clean installation what this does is it will remove anything related to the older ones that Windows installed and basically install everything uh, new like the updated um, updated drivers instead of just writing over the old one while we're letting that install we're actually gonna go to uh, settings and well, we'll skip that one for now one thing to also do just to basically clean up the Windows installation um, just type remove here on this bar and click on add and remove programs scroll down to this list and you'll see there's a lot of um, maybe programs you're not going to use like for me I usually like I remove Microsoft OneDrive I uninstall that never going to use that hit yes on the uninstallation prompt right there solitaire I mean I don't play solitaire so I'm gonna uninstall that so basically just do the uh, oh, sorry if the screen blacked out it was reinstalling the driver for the video yeah anything you're not gonna use in this list just hit uninstall because it frees up any uh, basically small space and some resources for your computer uh, office if you don't have a subscription um, if you use Google a lot then you basically have no need for that you can also uninstall that one same with OneNote um, snip and sketch sticky notes whichever you do not use on here so that's also one way of freeing up space on your system and freeing up resources also for your uh, for your computer and our Nvidia driver is almost done there we go close that one right click on your desktop click the control panel and verify the new version right here 465.89 apart from that one you have now reinstalled Windows on your computer use it normally see if there's any more errors that come up if there is then it might be hardware related and uh, if not then you are all set one thing also before I go I want to make sure you guys do all the updates here once Windows starts and connects to the internet there's going to be a lot of updates that are going to be automatically downloaded just hit the install and uh, basically it's going to upgrade all your drivers and all that to the latest ones depending on which um, uh, which driver needs a more updated driver I guess <laughs> so yeah like this is like for AMD SM bus uh, more AMD stuff that's probably for the chipset it is good to always keep it updated so just let those run once you finish all these uh, instead of updates available it's gonna say you're up to date up here and then you can proceed now with installing your basically games launchers applications and you're all set well thank you for joining me on this uh, Windows installation video I hope it was helpful um, like I said we did it from start to finish and uh, I mean if you like this video hit that like button subscribe to the channel we are going to be making more troubleshooting and guides and uh, with your support we can all make it possible so once again my name is Chris and we'll see you on the next episode